There we Apparently, go. Apparently, we are now streaming live on the internet. Okay, where's the where's the vod gonna... of that that like si six minutes? Wow, six yeah. minutes. Six minutes it took me to realise it was broken. Delete. <laughs> <laughs> we're actually live this time, but like for reals. The, I, mean, I mean, we're live for the. Oh god, no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's the second time I've tabbed into my own voice. We hate to see it. Oh no! Um, <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. Uh, no, we're live for the first time. This is the first. This is first time. This nothing is the happened. first time. This happened. <laughs> nothing, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened look. before this. <laughs> There's no video evidence that anything happened nope, before this. It's gone now. This. It's been deleted, and my camera is here as well, so it's fine. <laughs> Hi guys. Hello. My warm up is happening. Okay. I I'm not happy about it, but it is happening. Um. Oh boy. I'm just putting a new VP on. I have to put it up with YouTube ads. I see nothing this first. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to warm up. If you want to join us. And you need like a minute to finish what you're doing. This is the time. Or if you want to be responsible and actually do a warm up, you can join us for that. <laughs> or if you're doing something else, just like yep. give Photoshop ten minutes to load. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if I was making D and D maps right now, that would literally be this. <laughs> it's me just waiting for Photoshop to load. I mean. It takes a it still takes a while to load on my computer. I wouldn't call it ten minutes, but I do remember on my <laughs> old computer when I had to do uh, actual game design stuff in like Unreal Engine and stuff. Mm -hmm. The way I iterated. Oh my, my god, I can imagine. The way I iterated to my parents that I needed a new computer for my birthday was in my first year of uh, college. I said, "Hey, I want to show you the thing I made at school," and they brought them into my room. Uh, and I, <laughs> they had to wait for yeah, it to I, load. I, I clicked open and I literally <laughs> said, I'm going to go make a cup of tea. And I walked out the room and left them. <laughs> and then I came back five Effective. minutes. I came back five minutes later. It still hadn't opened. And they were like, okay, fair point. <laughs> <laughs> you have you have made your case. <laughs> I was like, okay, fair point. If, you, if you're studying games, clearly you need a more powerful machine. <laughs> right. Do some lines and circles and stuff. Yep. Warm up lines and circles for art. I have tail that I have been saving for warm up. Okay. Well, it's not so much a tale, more just an informing you okay. that, story, story time. Uh, <laughs> that Kay is up to date on Plight Princess. And the way I can tell you that is because I got his live messages from the hours of 1 to 3 a.m. <laughs> oh. And they were incredible. <laughs> I didn't ask Kay before I exposed him on the internet, but here we are. Um, <laughs> And let me tell you, <laughs> that boy is losing his mind. <laughs> hello, people in chat. Hello, hello. There's so many people. Um, oh, oh, multiple people. Here we go. Okay, let's close this one because I am picky and prefer uh, landscape. Why yeah. Nice. Oh, are you off to bed? That's fair, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, we're starting a little late, but that's okay. I had technical issues, so yeah, we are starting late. Yeah. I mean, no, this is the first time no, this, this happened. No, this is the first stream, there were no issues. <laughs> this is the, f the first time. She's lying. Ha <laughs> ha, it's not a touch tablet. <laughs> oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's a knife. Put the knife down. Carve it in there. Oh yeah, music. Good night, darling. I'm gonna put nice your barrier down because it is distracting. I'll try not to be. We just we're not playing games, we are having casual conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. At least it is semi-casual before Curl starts calling out Krauser apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and you put the cat in here anyway. <laughs> um for any of you who are watching who are doing writing. Because I'm aware that it is NaNoWriMo and some people are insane. <laughs> Oof, don't even start. Um, I, I am, I, I'm not. <laughs> I remember when I tried that back in the day and I did not do well. Uh, but hi, hi kudos to anyone who is doing it. Um, the writing warm up I am doing is uh, quite a simple one but a very annoying one. <laughs> As all writing warm ups should be. 
um, where you pick a random object in your room. Uh, <laughs> once you have the object, describe it in as close detail as possible, including all the five senses without forcing it. And so some senses might be uh, not to do with the object itself, but you perceiving it. So like, you might not want to taste the object, <laughs> but you might have a taste in your mouth from like dinner or whatever. Uh, and you can let yourself wander away from the object as much as you like, but you always have to come back to it and do about 500 words-ish. 100 to 500 words. There is a lot, it's much more, the book I'm referring to, to get this prompt, is very uh, much more um, articulate about it, <laughs> but I'm not going to read the whole thing. And if you want to take it and make it advanced, try and talk about something else while you're also, like, a theme while you're describing the object, but that's advanced. I may attempt it, but we will see. Yeah, if you want to try and write something, if you want to try to draw something, do it. I always take pride whenever you compliment me for, like, my theme, theme while I'm writing. Yeah, you're good at it. <laughs> I, I will compliment the things I see with my eyes. I don't consider myself a writer, really. I, I, I put myself in the artist category, but I would argue that recently I've probably written more than I've drawn. Yeah, Especially and some, to some extent the skills are transferable, because it's a lot of... It's visualisation at the end of the day. Yeah, it's about transferring... It's about perceiving the world a certain way, more than it is about translating it. But that's me being arty -farty. It's about uh, describing the world with your hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, please no. Yeah. Just shoot me in the head. Read through the line or the written word. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. If anybody wants to know what I'm doing, I am doing artist warm-ups, which is, in the literal sense of this is warming up my hand muscles of just doing repeated circles over and over. When I have filled the page with circles, I will do lines. After I have done uh, muscular warm-ups, I will do actual drawing warm-ups in the form of doing a sketch, which 9 times out of 10 tends to be blue. Not the colour. The character. <laughs> Sometimes yes. Sometimes. Sometimes both. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is the, this is the new song. I say new song. The song itself is probably about what five years old at this point. When did this out? Two thousand fourteen. What? Six years old. This <laughs> it's is the new song. <laughs> this, is, this is the new song because this is the song that was on the animation that I am hyped about. The Mystery Skulls animation that came out this week. Yeah. This is the song for it. So even though the song is six years old, it is new to me. Valid. I remember explaining Mystery Skulls to Spook and I was just like, in all of their songs, uh, there is just always a very strong beat. Yeah. I'm trying to, there's definitely another Mystery Skulls song I know more than just Skulls. Uh, not Skulls. Uh, yeah. That's what I said earlier, right? Uh, Ghost is the one that you said. Ghost. You know. uh, do I don't you want my game with. Which one do you, do you know? Hellbent. No, wait. Is this a, a mystery skull skull? Because you, for all I know, you may have seen the animations that I'm talking about. Because Ghost was the first animation they did. Uh, confession. Most mystery skull songs I know either from video games or from eight tracks. Fair <laughs> is this a mystery skull? Hang on. I think, doing a Google. I I I'm getting distracted already. Girls. <laughs> I think e I think I already have, happening. I have every note on one of my shitty playlists. Mm. Which funny enough is I on this album. That's so not a mystery skull song. Too. So who the fuck did this song? <laughs> you ever remember a song and you're like convinced it's by a certain artist? Oh it's Birthday Massacre. I'm getting it confused. <laughs> Never mind, pay no attention to me. I'm doing writing, it's happening. I'm doing a warm up. Uh, what does this. F what, what does this, this tape measure feel like? Robust. <laughs> it certainly does not. <laughs> it's like a. like a. Um, it's not like a. a like object tape measure it's like a if you were measuring yourself kind of tape measure um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, 
What's on the agenda for you today, by the way? I didn't ask. I meant like, I mean like drawing wise. Uh, I'm gonna Is it try more burb? Yeah, I'm gonna try to continue V3. More burb, more you know, burb. Work, I'm um, trying to set this goal for myself of like, I repeatedly start things and do not finish, so I'm like, I will try to finish this, whether it takes- This is the way to go, yeah. Whether it takes ten streams over the course of, like, three months, I will try to finish it. We'll do it. That's- that's the whole point of this. <laughs> yeah, the point of the, the stream is to try and be productive and do stuff. Mm -hmm. Even if it's all the productivity we do, at least we do this. Sun is Although I've been enough. okay at the moment. I've been okay. But then I don't know if I've been making more because I've been doing this. You know, like I don't know if, incre you know, hey, you people always say to write right. every day because it helps mm. to like keep your brain in that space. So I don't know if I've written more this week because we made me write. Could they? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see the long term effects, of the long term health effects of this art stream. Mm -hmm. Hello, Frog. Hi, Frog. I've finished circles and now onto lines. You're ahead of me and I can't accept that. I'm gonna be quiet for a minute. My warm up is considerably quicker than yours, I would think. But mine comes in three parts. The, the, That's also true. The sketch part takes a lot longer because these are just repeated muscle and repeated stretches. Repeated gestures, yeah. yeah. To be fair, I did do some muscle stretches earlier. Like, I, I, I did actually do get them. these done fairly quickly. But obviously, the quicker I get, the less. <laughs> yeah, that you defy the point of the stretch, surely.
mean, I, I mean, I'm guilty. The Lucas aid is here, but it is on the floor. I'm, I'm so. guilty in that I mainly drink cordial, not water. But that is because that's mostly water. Yeah, it's my, it's watered down like juice. Yeah, <laughs> like it's water. It, like water, plain water. Obviously, to me, tastes kind of dull a lot of the time. But mm. part of me does sometimes worry that, like, because all I drink is cordial, am I having too much sugar? I mean, fine. it's probably fine when you consider that some people probably literally drink things like Coke all day. Yeah. I've done it. <laughs> I'll admit it, I've done it. I'm one of those lucky people who just really fucking likes drinking water. <laughs> I, I drink so much water. I wildly... But I still get headaches all the time, so... <laughs> I wildly flip-flop between uh, I'm probably having too much sugar to I'm not having enough sugar. <laughs> 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 because, because I have these wild swings of oh, I, 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 am I having too much sugar or am I having a sugar crash or am I mm. having a low blood sugar? <laughs> I yeah. can't tell. <laughs> I really do lines. Uh, I've done my lines. I need to do sketches now. That's also constructive lines. But yeah, I am. I am drinking so much water because I'm not allowed to drink coffee anymore, <laughs> which is killing me. <laughs> It's killing me. It's killing me a little. Is it the caffeine? Well, I will find out if I'm continuing. No, or the caffeine's it? fine. It's actually tea and coffee. There's something in tea and coffee that stops iron absorption. And for those of you who don't know, hi, I'm a vampire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and because I'm on, I'm having to like artificially give myself iron until my iron levels get to a point where they're maintaining themselves. I am not allowed tea or coffee. Oh. Yep. <laughs> little inside on my life there, everyone. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, but yeah, it is killing me. Literally, constantly, I'm like, I could just make myself a black coffee and put some honey in it, and I'd be happy I again. Mean, I guess that kind of makes sense because um, I learned when my dad had an issue with kidney stones that uh, tea and coffee are like one of the primary causes of kidney stones these days. Mm -hmm. So I guess maybe it's a fun, it's a fun conversation for, <laughs> for people. <out> there. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, my coffee, my coffee intake is not too bad anymore. Anymore. Since I've since I've graduated uni, my coffee intake has got so much better. <laughs> I normally just have one in the morning, but man, not having that one in the morning is killing me a little. But then I haven't had any in like what like a month and a half now. <sighs> King judges everyone, frog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's a big mood though. When I was writing King the other week. Like King's judging me. Her name's King, but really she's a queen. Yes, yes, queen. Love King. Oh my God. I'm just trying to. Remember. What was it, King said? <laughs> oh no, it wasn't King. Never mind. I'll have to send you screenshots from this conversation later, Blue, because it's so fucking funny. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Whoa. Just dropped a bunch of stuff. It's fine. This warmo has a lot of swearing in it. <laughs> I'm getting out of my system. Getting out of my system. I'm gonna write something today I think that's pretty tame, so I <laughs> get the swearing out of my system. You ever had that thing where you're like, I need to listen to something other than this song, otherwise I'm just gonna listen to this song forever? Yes. <laughs> it's like, well, I don't stop now. This is all there's gonna be. Uh, I'm just bouncing. I've been listening to the various EPs of the Oh Hellos today. Mm -hmm. um, I'm familiar with them. They're like... They're in the, like, folk vein. I don't even know how you would describe them. Uh, they're in that good like folk indie kind of vein. They do a lot of kind of um, gentle folksy music. They're in a lot of cottage core playlists. <laughs> um, but there's a song called New River and Torches, which are on the same. It's on the Notus EP, and they're both like they've got a little bit more of like an upbeat vibe, but they're still folk, and it's 
very good, would recommend. Yo Hellos also have a song that hurts me numero uno, <laughs> which is fucking called My, uh, Hello My Old Heart, which uh, if you were on 8 tracks at a certain time, you've definitely heard before. <laughs> I probably have, yeah. <laughs> uh, what am I going to listen to? I'm just going to listen to different Yo Hellos music. Uh, I'm a bit too warm with on. Yeah. Yeah. I'm listening to folk music because I'm gonna write something a little folksy today. Ooh, folky stuff. Because I went and sat and disassociated in a park in the week as you do. <laughs> as I do, yeah. I mean I was gonna I was gonna meme there, but there is no meme as, as I do. <laughs> there is no meme die. Uh, <laughs> um And uh, yeah, I hadn't. I was thinking today about what I was going to write because I don't. I didn't have an idea on my own. Uh, so I'm going to write about trees. <laughs> Dope. There, there is more to that, but I'm going to write about trees. <laughs> so folk music it is. It's really hard to describe the sensory experience of a tape measure. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult. Yeah, yeah. This is somehow... I love writing exercises like this when we used to do my uni and stuff because it, it always ends up being about something that's not... Because you, cause you have limits on what you can really say. You start talking about how you interact with the object, especially if it's yours. Mm -hmm. um, so this is both simultaneously a description of this tape measure that I have and also my brain's inability to work with numbers. <laughs> At the same time, it's the same thing. Because I that's how where where I went with this apparently.
You can tell we're both making progress because we're so quiet. Yeah, <laughs> that is the true sign of production. Mm -hmm. Feeling pretty productive today, so we'll see how we go. Crashing noise, always a good sign. That was me hitting my tub of uh, Vaseline as I went to put my drink back down. <laughs> I thought you had like, from the sound of it, I thought you had like thrown your like, uh, yes. your pen down on the desk. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. Oh, no, I was, don't apologise, I was just like, wow, is it not going well? That's, that's such a mood. Being like, right, I know I'm gonna have to use these fucking words a lot, so I guess <laughs> I'm just gonna worry about that later, Das. Just start getting words out. That's the hardest part. Have you done just, start... <laughs> just start putting words in front of the people. Wait, what? The I... people? That's a fu <laughs> Put words in front of the people. <laughs> Do you hear the people rise? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get lame. Oh my god, I got to lame. No! <laughs> Frantic typing. <laughs> no, the one is this keyboard. If you can hear this, mm -hmm. this is this is me writing because it's my laptop one. This is the computer. <laughs> this is where I'm doing <laughs> illicit lame is discovery. Illicit lame is. Because if I start listening to musicals, it will be all over. <laughs> it will be all over. I am, as you may say, between musicals at the moment, which means I'm listening to kind of nothing, and also everything. I'm not like obsessed with one right now. Yes. Yet I will find one. I've tried a couple out, but I've not like loved them. Mm. Is, it, is it time? Is it time for Kels' spicy musical opinions? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't remember what ones I've tried like, recently. I listened to the Percy Jackson musical. Oh, I, it was it was okay. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> I think it it's a if you like if you really like Percy Jackson, you will like it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's one of those things where I'm like, I I didn't know how they were going to get this all into a musical, and I don't know that they necessarily did because <laughs> it's such a you know it's like a fantasy epic. Like, how are you gonna <laughs> get it into one book into one musical? But the music is pretty good. Um. What was the other one I listened to? Fly by Night? Fly by Night was great, but I just couldn't follow it very well. Also, I don't really like the plot. Hmm, you're right. You're, you're right, Das. Yeah, there are some songs in the Percy Jackson musical that do absolutely slap. For whatever reason, it just makes me think of there's a musical called Starry that I love. And it the sound like the sound of it is similar to me, even though they're not. <laughs> you know? My brain works in a very weird way. 
Star is a great musical for people in chat, and you should listen to it. Because I hope if people listen to it more, then it might get a good stage. It might get a staging at some point in the future. Um, ba ba ba. I think I've reached the logical end point of this idea. <laughs> I've got to a point where I'm just saying words, it's not to do with. It's like, okay, right, that's. Uh, I'm gonna put it that way. Um, okay. I kind of do have to do a secondary warm up anyway, because mm -hmm. I need to come up with some things before I start writing. Um, oh, I don't have a folder for this because it's original content. Who knew? Well, I do have an original content folder, but I don't have a short story folder. I should have a short story folder. <laughs> my, much like my other folders, my original stuff folder is like a bunch of really super organized like subcategories, like about Mazius and stuff like that, and mm. like book ideas I've had. And then underneath that, if you scroll down, is like two things that I've named, and then a bunch of super full untitled documents. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm aware of the Cinderella musical that's coming out because Cara Hope Fletcher is in it and I love her. Unfortunately, it's also Andrew Lloyd Webber, <laughs> which oh, is fine. It's fine. I just personally don't love Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals. Um, but they released a song from it the other day called Bad Cinderella and it's pretty good, actually. <laughs> and now I've, I've said it out loud, I've got it stuck in my head, fuck. <laughs> But yeah, Karen Hope is amazing. I will I've seen quite a few things that she's been in. And she's just she just kills it every night. <laughs> I've seen a recording of her and she did this is I just talking now, you don't have to pay attention. Carry on drawing. Um I saw a recording of her doing like a bootleg of Heathers when she when it was at the West End. Which I saw like super early in the run. But it was like a bootleg from like right at the end of the run and she had tonsillitis and she could barely speak <laughs> and she just fucking belted her little heart out every night and i'm like how how did you do that when you couldn't get sounds out of your body <laughs> anyway Let's, I won't, I'll stop talking about musicals because otherwise that will be, I, this will be the Curls musical tirade. That's not what this stream is about. We'd love to see it. <laughs> if, we, if the people want that, I will do that on my own time. <laughs> I'll do a, a vampire stream one day and just <laughs> rant about musicals. Put I a, would put, get put executed. Put a coin in the jar so someone my... mentioned circles again. Oh my god. Why was I thinking about circles the other day? Oh, because I was going to explain because to you whether it's all circles, Carl. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> uh, oh, because I was going to explain the other part of where this idea of this thing I'm going to write is going to come from. Which I was going to explain that, like, there's a novel, I don't know if you've heard of it or you probably haven't read it, called The Overstory. Nope. Came out, like, a year ago or two. It's a massive book. And I can't say I necessarily enjoyed it, but I did enjoy the experience of having read it. <laughs> That's a um, weird concept, but okay. Uh, I have a bunch of books in that category. Like Wuthering Heights. I didn't enjoy the experience of reading Wuthering Heights, but I like the characters and the story. So I like having have read it, but I didn't enjoy reading it. <laughs> um, but there's a book called The Overstory. It is, it is, it is a good book. I begrudgingly admit that it is a very good book. Um, I was going to be like, well, much like... <laughs> <laughs> Much like Blood and Sand is about circles, but it's not about circles. The overstory is about trees, <laughs> but it's not about trees. Do you, does that make sense? <laughs> uh, kind of. So the I mean, the I, plot, the I direct would, actions say, of Blood and Sand do not involve. Yeah, okay, I, was like, I wouldn't say Blood and Sand is about circles. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. Ideas. Like. The meta text <laughs> involves circles, and yes. the plot structure involves circles. Yes. And like, if you look at it a lot, there's circles everywhere. Yeah. It's every the same for the overstory, no, but that's, trees. That's, that's, that's where the meme came from. Was that if I had if I had a board to stick this all on, it would all make a circle. Yeah. <laughs> and within the it's... circle would be another circle, and there would be circles yeah. connecting circles. <laughs> the overstory is like, but with trees, there's like 
eight different protagonists to the overstory, and all of their stories involve trees somehow, but the book is also in kind of a meta way. It would make a tree. <laughs> This sounds like the freaking Twilight Wings, which is the weird Pokemon spin-off they did, and it took me three episodes to realise that it was called Twilight Rings, because the uh, underlying theme between all of them was the fucking Corviknight taxi. <laughs> it took me three episodes, because it was like, the first episode was about this kid, and then the second episode was about, like, Pop's Wooloo going missing, and then the third episode was about one of the gym leaders, and I was like, what? Is the connection here? This isn't like an over. There isn't a story connecting these. And then I realised I was like, oh wait, the same guy appears in every one. Who is the Corviknight taxi guy? And I was like, oh, Corviknight, Twilight Wings, Black Wings. It's, ah, yeah. um... it's all coming together. It's it, about yeah. circles. <laughs> circles. It's about Cor it's about Corviknight apparently. <laughs> uh, okay, you keep doing your warm up sketch. Oh, you're gonna be here forever. I am going to start thinking about my protagonist. <laughs> nice one, cool. Um, so, I'm <laughs> this is my my elevator pitch uh, for what I'm going to write today. <laughs> um, I'm going to write a thing, I think. <laughs> good start. I'm good with words. Um, about kind of post-apocalyptic, but not going into it. Just, just is about a lady who lives in the woods and cultivates trees. Like That's basically all I have right now. Like, just like a, just this doesn't have to be, have like meaningful plot or anything. I just want to write about a lady who cultivates trees after the world ends. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but I need. I also kind of have some ideas of things I want to like bring into it but they will come up naturally probably because I was reading Ova's Metamorphosis earlier and that's in my consciousness <laughs> oh this song's super nice oh every note just came on we both we both just had like a oh, good song for reference, for me, uh, for people in chat who know what this is, this is a song called Pale White Horse by the Old Hellos, and it's absolutely lovely. It's just very gentle. Mystery, mystery's got heckin' big notes. Heckin'. Heckin' big notes. I think I'm just gonna start writing this. My brain's kind of in the... It's got the, the motor's already going in my yeah, brain. Go, go for it, man. Oh shit, what person am I writing this in? <laughs> I hate writing. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. <laughs> shall, I, shall I throw down the gauntlet? <laughs> It took, what, two seconds <laughs> for me going, I'm in the mood, I can do this, to being like, fuck, I hate writing. Uh, all it takes is tense. Should I throw down yeah. the gauntlet? Well, oh God, do you, want, do you want to challenge or not? Or do you just want to write this? Fuck it. Give you me what, you, what are you it, doing? Write it from the perspective of the tree. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. That is what the perspective of this story has to be in. You're you're correct. <laughs> See, there's a reason you keep uh, me around. I hate that you're right because it's gonna be difficult. <laughs> okay. God. Yeah, that's why I said it's gonna be difficult. No, I'm in. I you're, like objectively. You are correct. That is like the the to make this story interesting. That is what you must do. <laughs> I doing? I feel like I, then I have first person, third person, yeah, first person. Third. Yeah, mystery's nose looking right, and I don't know why. It's because it's rounded, and I'm doing too sharp an edge. Yeah, I was about to say it's very sharp. Not because it's too sharp an edge. Too sharp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I mean you just read the same chat at the same time. It's like ah. Uh... <laughs> There you go, that looks like a better nose. Hmm. Oh 
god. I'm having to listen to music on YouTube, but I'm getting so many ads that I just like, I could have died without hearing that. <laughs> Fair enough. I, might, I think I, I'm gonna do this in first person, I think. Which is also not a me thing to do. I like third person too much because it's a little comfy. I don't have to, I'm not legally bound to anything then. <laughs> I can do whatever the fuck I want. If I want to talk about another character's thoughts and feelings, I can just do it, because there is no god and nothing can hold me. <laughs> I think I have to do first person for this. And I can still start it the way I was going to start it. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> yes, Core, I heard you the first time, and I will appreciate your joke audibly this time. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I refuse. <laughs> Banned. <laughs> Core, I just assumed you posted it again because it didn't get a reaction, which is funnier. I never thought <laughs> I never thought I would have to mentally ask myself the question what type of tree is my protagonist <laughs> You're welcome <laughs> Stacy no one's saying you need to stop painting low with 80s colors I, In fact I'm saying the opposite of that <laughs> I know, I know what I have to do. Where is my copy of Metamorphosis? Oh, that's how you know I'm writing. <laughs> if I'm reaching for the Iliad, the Metamorphosis, or uh, Aristotle's Poetics, then I'm writing. <laughs> it's okay, go on, don't worry. Where is it? I was reading this section earlier. Now, children, if you turn to page 28... This is one of the reasons why I am growing to like using this program and the tendency to Photoshop. The ability to just ever so slightly tweak my hands. We love to see it. I keep trying to do the Discord command for the eyes emoji in Twitch chat. <laughs> It keeps telling me off. <laughs> no, not allowed. I was like, wait, why do I know this song? <laughs> you know certain songs aren't activate your like brain's weird fight or flight instinct, but yes. not in a bad way. It's like, ah, this is a uh, soldier warrior kick. <laughs> It's gonna happen, I'm just gonna keep listening to torches. To be fair, this is what I was listening to when I was dissociating in a park, which inspired this whole thing, so... I suppose that works. I've started typing in past tense, so apparently this is in past tense. <laughs> Thank god, I fucking hate present tense. Some of the 
Don't get too caught up, it's just a little warm-up sketch. It's true, but it's actually going really well. <laughs> hmm, fair. You can always save it and come back to it. True. Save. Save it for now. Uh, this doesn't go in back and beyond, so it's just going to go on the desktop. And Spook can shoot, <laughs> can shoot me later. <laughs> what a mood. Oh, I've done that so many times. Sketch. I mean, it's already. It's a, technically, this has gone past the sketch stage already, so it's already going well. Because I'm technically, mm -hmm. do, I'm technically doing loose line art now at this point. Yeah, I was gonna say you're doing lines at the moment. We'll save it. If you do a little bit burb and you're like, I'm not feeling it, you can always come back. This is true. There are no rules. There is no rule. There are no rules, and there is no god. It is 9.46. Bloody hell. <laughs> I need to take drugs. <laughs> you do. <laughs> Reminder kids, take your meds. How the fucking hell did that happen already? Yeah. Where did the evening go? Well, to be fair, we had to re- I mean, no, this nope. is the first no, time. This is the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've done this. Remind, uh, reminder kids, take your meds if you need to. I'm going to take a decent amount of them. <laughs> Which also means I need to eat something. Oh no. What a shame. Biscuit. Uh, I went to Tesco today and they had all the, the Halloween stuff that was cheap. Yes. So my snack drawer is a little out of hand. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> Also, I bought Liebkuchen because it's November now and I'm allowed Liebkuchen. It just takes me straight back to being in Germany as a teenager, having weird tension with the only other gay classmate. <laughs> the nostalgia we're after. <laughs> This is small joys. I was like, ooh, yeah, it's a new packet of meds. <laughs> Breaking into the new packet. I taken which oh shit oh no oh no <laughs> I have three boxes in front of me which one did I just <laughs> yes cool my art goes a lot better when uh <laughs> there's enough iron in my blood to keep me alive <laughs> Tuesday yeah <laughs> thank God all drug manufacturers should, should put the days on their meds. <laughs> Frog coming in to chat like, learn from my mistakes. <laughs> I'm 
getting a brain fart because like my brain didn't doesn't immediately know what you mean by AO passes. I know she's doing colouring, so it's something to do with colours. <laughs> Or I'm assuming you're doing Kari. There's a very chance you could be working on something else. We buy then. Oh, my music stopped. That's unacceptable. Ambient occlusion. I've heard that phrase before. Oh, ambient occlusion. I think I think I know what that means. Is it a lighting thing? It is. Lighting, I believe so. I believe that's something I learned to do in photography. <laughs> Probably not the same thing, but with has the same name. <laughs> Blue, what should I listen to? I'll listen to something else. Uh, if you're going to be writing about trees, may I suggest Blue's playlist? I cannot use the Spotify platform. <laughs> oh, okay, can't use Spotify. Hmm. I just need like an artist because I'm just on YouTube using artist playlists. Uh, Hosier. Oh, you right. Which album? Most recent one. Let's. Ah, oh, there is also a playlist of just all Hosier songs. <laughs> that might also work. Brilliant. They mean like Hosier songs? Yeah, they do. I had to, I typed a word beginning with W and then for whatever fucking reason I think my brain just error for a forward. I continued to type words but just started them all with W. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hello brain taking over. Hello? Hello, I wish to You do it once ironically and then you can't stop doing it. <laughs> I always forget how good Hosier is. How? <laughs> I just forget and then I listen to Hosier and I'm like, fuck, Hosier's good. <laughs> With the eyes on at the moment. I was like, I don't listen to this song enough. I don't listen to this, this, this album enough, just in general. I 
YouTube, you can stop recommending Achilles Come Down. I listened to that fucking song enough. <laughs> How do you know I'm on incognito? <laughs> and I'm not even on my computer. How do you know? <laughs> YouTube knows all. YouTube knows all. It's like, hey, <laughs> is this your most listened to song from this year? Do you want to listen to it again? <laughs> It's like, I do, just shut up! <laughs> a lot of like writing like two or three lines and then being like wait no <laughs> back it up it's gonna be slow going but I'm okay I like it <laughs> I like being challenged is it going well over in blue land I mean, I, obviously I got distracted from doing brew, but I'm still doing art and I'm actually kind of happy with what I've drawn, so I'm, hey. call, I'm calling it a win. And that is what matters. Look at that. This is your reminder chat to save what you're working on. <laughs> Just that one part's on a different layer. <laughs> no reason. It's because I was layering blocks and stuff, because he has got Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Do his second ear though, because it doesn't look right without the second ear. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's because I, when I, whenever I, I watch art streams, which is quite a lot, my brain when I watch people do art, when they still have the sketch layer on, like, my brain can't separate the line layer and the sketch layer mentally. <laughs> so my brain considered it part of the drawing, even though you haven't technically drawn it in. Yes. Command S. Get the apple bullshit out of here. Yeah, <laughs> that mag shit out of here. It's control. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sorry, that was so dark. I'm sorry. <laughs> so these are just goose. There's goose on this here wholesome channel. Fortunately, my thing auto saves. So my sins are saved forever without my concern. <laughs> and that's the sentence I just said. What is happening to me right now? The Lucas Aid is leaving me. <laughs> drink more water, drink more water. is white. I just used the same word three times in a sentence. That might be a record for me. I'm pretty sure you said the same thing last week, girls. Shh, no I didn't. There's no record of, of, of uh, me ever making a mistake. <laughs> That's false. <laughs> we have like hours of content of me making mistakes. If you are interested in watching our d, &D streams, <laughs> <laughs> you I can think, find I think I've just YouTube. been. <laughs> I think I've just been yeeted under a bus. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I wish that wasn't as true as it was. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be giggling about that for a while, hang on. <laughs> that was one of my better ones. Really, your, your Twitch channel is just an archive of my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is that is the blue sky wolf nine promise. <laughs> False. I make no promises on my Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing legally binding here. <laughs>
Excuse me while I am googling stuff. It's fine. <laughs> I just had to say like six words out loud for the right sound. I was just muted when I did it. things where it's like I sort of half know what I want and I don't know how to get it in the program. Hmm. Hmm. Unfortunately I can't help you at all. <laughs> well this is part of the again this is part of the reason I'm not using Photoshop because I am trying to learn this new program. Yeah. It's good to learn. I feel like I am also learning very rapidly writing this so maybe that's the vibe for this stream. <laughs> If nothing else, we learned. <laughs> I am learning very rapidly that working out how a, a tree would perceive not only expressions, but the purpose of actions hmm. is very interesting because Something that the the O sorry is really good with is the trees are super fucking old, yo. <laughs> trees are hundreds and hundreds of years old, so like if you're to the overstory the the concept of time in the overstory is really weird because it's kind of about trees. <laughs> so like the first chapter of the overstory covers I think about four hundred years. 
Because <laughs> it's about one tree that's a super fucking old tree. Um, so, like, that stretch of time is completely warped. But then later chapters are, like, about a day in a person's life. You know, it's... The concept of time doesn't exist for trees, and they're so old that... <laughs> it's also how I think about elves in D&D. &D. <laughs> um, like, the whole concept of... Um, of time just gets super weird um, but at the same time so it's like I'm trying to interpret um, how they would perceive repeated actions like small like like rituals that people have that aren't to do with our survival if that makes sense. I think so. I'm also trying to explain how a tree would perceive the apocalypse, which is fun. <laughs> can the tree can the tree talk to other trees in this instance? For the sake well, of storytelling or if if we're going with Well the thing is the this is again, overstory. Um Trees can talk to each other. They just don't, you know. Obviously, they don't talk. But like, yes. if if a, if there's a diseased tree in the vicinity of um, of a tree, the like surrounding trees will start developing things to protect it from that disease. So they can communicate. Like forests communicate in real life, which is dope. Um, I'm also giving this tree a little bit of. Human humanizing because I like the idea of trees just being like super wise with no context, <laughs> wise but not by human standards. <laughs> Again, conveying things that don't make any sense, <laughs> except to me. <laughs> See, yeah, tree ball, obviously. I was muted that whole time I was saying things. <laughs> like a clipping masky thing you were trying to do? It's kind of like a clipping mask, but also yeah. not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what Clip Studio yeah. it, Like, Clip Studio like, does have clipping masks, and I will turn this layer into a clipping mask when I am done. Yeah. Uh, this is what uh, this is referred to as a reference layer. But mm. not like, the reference layer is the line art. Right. And. I've told this. I've told the tool, in this case the uh, uh, rubber, to mm -hmm. not. It says do not exceed line of reference layer. So if I go slightly oh. over, if I go slightly over the line, it won't erase go, if, it. Yeah, if I go too far, it ignores it. Ignore, it, ignore it. But it is great for very hastily just. Yeah. See, that's lovely. Like, 
normally what means I you don't do have to go down to like a one pixel brush to get between some of those lines. Yeah, normally what I would do is like uh, uh, use the one tool to select the line art, uh, shrink it by a couple of pixels, but uh, as this is just a quick drawing, I haven't actually uh, solidified it. So as you can see at the yeah, bottom, you your lines it, and stuff, yeah. it hasn't been closed, so if I did that it would just select everything. See, I watched just enough draw fee to like kind of get what's going on. <laughs> I watched a lot of draw fee, yeah. Actually, I'm wondering, instead of using the rubber, would it be useful to use the Unintentionally cool effect. <laughs> Bank that for later. Yeah, but if we turn the line art off, that actually looks fucking dope. <laughs> yeah. many years it has been but I still <laughs> every time I write the word suspended in anything <laughs> this is a reference just for you Blue uh -huh. <laughs> not one else every time I write suspended in anything do you remember this fucking thing um the thing I wrote about Holla so a million years ago 
and it was playing with that word. <laughs> so every do. time. You think I do. It was sad and a million years ago. Yeah. Um, and still, to this day, <laughs> I can't write it without being like, ah, oh, I'm sad about this thing I wrote ten years ago. <laughs> Words, man. I feel like this. Uh, <laughs> of course. I want to listen to Florence the Machine. <laughs> At some point, I've accidentally I've activated the caps lock on this keyboard, and I uh, can't see the keyboard right now to disable it. There we go. Florence the Machine. I want to listen to. Is it? See, I find I find flats uh, fairly easy because I just once I fill it in with the once I filled it in with the color, it is literally just fill fill in with the, uh, what color you want. Just paint the entire thing one flat white, and it's like cool. And now that's done. Just opacity lock it and fill in the color. version of every note. Interesting. I think I prefer the other one. <laughs> it's the demo, so it's, you, you've had the, the quote-unquote better version. It's her time. Of course it is. She has been silent for too long. <laughs> Dad has been in bed for an hour. <laughs> that means he is close to being in deep sleep, but just close enough that he can be woken up. 
cats. Smarter than we give them credit for. Oh fuck, I love this one. Such a vibe. A vibe. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. That was a strange one. Let's go back to some more recent ones. Blue, I need a random name. Uh, Eleanor. Thanks.
and editing. <laughs> oh damn, I just tapped it back over to what you were doing. Much has happened since last I was here. <laughs> when, did, when did you last look at the screen? Uh, there was no colours on it. Oh uh, wow, yeah, a lot has happened. I'm getting irritated <laughs> with this blend tool because I've made a selection, but for some reason the blend tool it wants to blend with the stuff outside of the selection. And I'm like, oh. I'm like, you shouldn't do that. If, I'm, if I've selected something, then you shouldn't be interacting with the things that's not selected. Oh, I see what you're saying, it's bringing the white in. Yeah, but what, why is it doing You'd have to make it a different layer and then merge it back down. Oh, that's so irritating. Why does it do that? Huh. Huh. First time that's I how I would fix that problem, but that's probably yeah. just it is a me of, finding a workaround yeah. for something that yeah. probably has a fix yeah, in the program. It is, a, it is certainly a way to fix it. That's, that's the first time in any program ever that I've encountered a tool that ignores your layer selection. Hmm. There's probably a way to change that. <laughs> this is like a really slow writing process for me, but I'm not hating it. I'm used to just being like and just getting out a thousand words, but most of them I then have to cut. Up.
I'm upset that this blending isn't working how I want it to. And I, have no I mean, idea. it looks good. I have no idea why. <laughs> We've got a mystery now. Is the yeah. problem? Yeah. We're gonna we're committed. Well, I say we. I don't know why I'm invested in yeah. this. I freaking I freaking drew mystery and thus have came up with a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bessa. Hey, Bessa. Yeah, I have dr I've drawn mystery and found a mystery of the program. <laughs> Which is that apparently for some reason the blur tool ignores selections. The blur we've got multiple mysteries. We've got the blur tool ignores selections, and also it's now green for some reason. <laughs> it, no, it turns green when I tell it to turn my selection into a layer. It decides that that instruction must mean to turn it green. I don't. I wouldn't necessarily say that's an answer. That's what it. That's what it does. It's not necessarily why it does that thing. I don't know why. I'm wondering if it's so. In I'm thinking about when I do Photoshop stuff. Sometimes when you tell it to make a layer, it will just make it a white layer, not a transparent layer, because there's no layer under it that's transparent, so it defaults to being white. Maybe it's doing that, but with green. Okay. Because I don't know what the solution is, I'm going to go with individual layers for now, mm -hmm. just so I'm not getting too hung up on it. No worries, luck is always welcome. But it confuses me that that is a thing. Oh, it ignores mm. opacity lock as well! Oh, this blur tool is awful! <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, it ignores the opacity lock as well. That is absolutely bad. Why would you make that decision? If I have opacity lock for this, that means I want it to stay that way. That's yeah. Oof. Oof, huh. that's weird. That is yeah, that is not Maybe a maybe this is a, a not a blur tool program. Yeah. That's not inviting me to make gradients basically. Hmm. Does it have like a dedicated gradient tool? It does, which I am now experimenting with. Yeah, I've literally just watched you open that as the sentence left my mouth. Blaster. Right, I need to go back to uh, teaching the tree and the meaning of love, <laughs> or something. <laughs> Whatever the fuck this this story is becoming. Hey, that looks right. Yeah, she looks all right. I don't know why I, I should probably have just done that from the start. I wonder if the gradient tool would be more selections. Hmm. I did call. Hey, a song just came on called You're a Wolf. It says blue rights. Hello! How are you? Oh, it all sick, that works. Okay. Yeah. I may just do that in the future, though. To be fair, I very rarely colour with gradients. It was literally just because there was specifically a gradient on the reference picture. Yeah. I went up. Okay, I'm gonna call um, that. I might call that done. Hey. Let me see how the We've done a reverse of what we did last week. You have finished the thing and I have not. Let me see how the coloured line art looks because I just noticed that the line art is actually coloured in this. It's the same colour as the quote unquote black bit, which I realised hmm. after colour dropping was in fact a brown. Because much as with everything, oh, right, yeah. because, uh, much as with everything else, color is in fact relative.
Oh, that's a big mood, Daz. What do you think, girls? Oh, oh chat, I suppose, as well. <laughs> forget, forget about also, chat, chat here. Yeah, also it's fine, chat. Too. I don't forget about you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not in the street. <laughs> black, black, <laughs> black lines or the coloured lines? Like, I... Both are appealing. Uh, I kind of... I, in general, I like black lines more, but with that, I think I actually like the brown. The brown does work. Because it's still, like, harsh enough to help the drawing, but it, like, blends away on the, like, main, mm. and that looks really cool. I'm doing that. Let me post that later when we're done. Hey, right. Just so... Look at that. Look at that. I actually finished a thing. Chat agrees. Colour lines. Awesome. That may end up on Twitter and Tumblr later on. Hey. That is the first time in a long time that I have done a drawing that I would consider somewhat finished. Hey. That's what this is for, Blue. Wild. Okay. <laughs> We've actually achieved a goal that we set out to do. This never happens. Okay. No. Because it is so late. I don't think any major progress is going to be made on Viri, but I am at least going to open it and close Mystery mm. and open Viri. Ah uh, yes, we got we just made good progress on Viri last week. Yeah. Like I, got, I think I got to the point where the legs and stuff were pseudo done, and I just really quickly yeah. waxed, I really quickly waxed in that wing. Yes, because I I was I insisted that it, you left it in a place where you would be able to easily pick it up. <laughs> So I think you just shoved a, a, a wing line in there. <laughs> I didn't shout at trees, okay, Jack? <laughs> I am thinking though before I dive into this, I'm I think probably for because of my music selection, I don't feel as tired <laughs> as last hey. week. So I think what I'm going to go do is have a quick bio break and potentially go, if not make a cup of tea, refill my water. Yeah, good idea. So, girls, feel free to talk with the chat about I will entertain. What, you, what you are writing. I'm going to mute my yeah. microphone. What's up, chat? It's the me show now. This is my Twitch channel. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is going okay, chat, by the way. It's fucking difficult. <laughs> it is it is tricky. Um This this story uh I will I will read yours after I'm done here, Das. Promise. Um Yeah, it. So, this story, if you wrote it from a person's perspective, would be really fucking sad. <laughs> gonna put it. Out, gonna put that out there. Um, so far, I am trying to set up my characters. There's two of them, I guess. If you if you include tree. Um. All I have established, I, I'm just now getting to the like plot. <laughs> I have, I've done a lot of establishing work, is what I've done. Um, basically, I'm trying to explain. I tried, tried. This is the bit I've done. Um, it's basically, if you were writing this in just like a normal order, you would say that the there was like a, a crisis. Um, Diana, who's my human character, uh, fled up into the hills with a bunch of other people and then slowly over time people left to go and look for people or things or try and find their houses and they never came back. Um, I'm trying to explain that from a tree's perspective is very interesting. <laughs> I am managing it somehow. <laughs> um, but that's why I say it's kind of become uh, teaching what love is to a tree. Because um, <laughs> it's, it's to some extent a tree trying to comprehend human sentimentality. Essentially. 
There was a line I wrote earlier. Yeah, it was because in the first paragraph when I was just dicking around, um, I wrote this line which needs a lot of work, but I like the idea of it, which is, I came to understand that the actions of others that would wound any other than Diana were always lessened if they were performed out of love. Um, So I'm kind of playing with that concept further. It's like, well, does my tree really understand what that means? Did the tr like slowly what I'm progressing into is the idea that Diana has nurtured this tree for so long that it's beginning to understand why those people left. Like, that's where I'm going with this. <laughs> Also, yes, low is very pretty. Cool. I'm, I'm, you realise I'm a mod in this channel. I have authority here. <laughs> I, can, I can... I can stop you. For those of you who want a music recommendation, by the way, I'm listening to the Oh Hello's EP called Zephyrus, which came out. I literally listened to all their EPs like two or three days ago, and this EP came out like the day I started listening to them, which is crazy. <laughs> it's crazy that I was like, oh, I want to listen to this band, and then they.
obviously nothing but yeah. has been released, but um, that fucking boizel that that gym leader has haunts my nightmares. Legit the weeks of my life. Floats a lot, is it? It's legit weeks of my life went into wandering in the fucking safari trying to find a type that could deal with it. <laughs> I wish I still had my DS. Hmm. My like normal DS, not my 3DS, which I still have. Am I projecting onto this tree? How have I managed that? How have I managed that? <laughs> that is a question. Next question is how big do I want to go with V-Ree's wings? I mean, go nuts, right? Because, I mean, Kirok was big wings because she was based off an eagle, but Jerry is based mm. off a kingfisher. Oh, they got little baby wings. Yeah, they're much, much smaller. Maybe don't bring them, like, to head height. Maybe they're, like, you know, like, um... I mean, more like, like this little sparrow boy? Huh? This little sparrow boy? Yeah! I think I diluted this too much. I can't really taste the cordial. To be fair, oh, no. that's probably more due to the Mawam. <laughs> <laughs> Malwams taking over, it's the Malwams time. I really fucking want Malwams now, I hate you. I got these Send me a cherry work. one. I got these from work. <laughs> give, me a, give me a cherry one. I just ate the cherry one, this is strawberry one. Fuck you! Eat the strawberry one. Oh, strawberry one's okay. I'll, I'll accept strawberry ones. Do they still put apple ones on there? Yes, there are. Or was that like a Halloween thing? No, no, like it was just a generic mixed bag. There's apples, oranges. I just, I just mm -hmm. had raspberry, cherry, and the last was strawberry. Mm -hmm. And I think there was also like one cola one in. Cola there. one, yeah. We're gonna do slightly smaller on Mary's wings since she is based on a smaller yeah. bird. Or just make them longer than they are high. That's how my brain. Suggests, yeah. but I'm not art. This is, this is one of those things where the thing is in because Anne, with I mean, Kirok's excuse is that she uses an eagle. And yeah, you can go nuts with the yeah, wings on that. And, and obviously, Blue being a fantasy creature doesn't matter, but because she, she's it, it, try, trying to apply, apply logic to a very unlogical creature, she's meant to be from an, a, a place where everything lives in the sky, so she has big wings to stay alo aloft for a long time. Yeah, and also, like, there's no downside to have her big wings. Yes. Oh, there is. She's terrible in confined spaces, but that's just part of. Her well, yeah, character. but like, she's from a place where that's not really a problem. <laughs> well, in her home world, it's not a problem. When yeah, she, that's what I'm saying. When she falls down to the material plane, quote unquote, it becomes a big problem. Then it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> but, it's, it, the th but the thing is, is that I know within my brain that for any creature that is somewhat humanoid, shaped and sized, they yeah, the wings have to be they need big wings. <laughs> So I instinctively make big wings on characters. Mm -hmm. Like, Kika is a baby, and this is probably also quite small in the wing department, but I think her wings are still, like, pretty large. Big. Yeah. Because wings need to be large in order to function. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, with I've done that thing again where I, I wrote a line I'm really proud of, and now I can't follow up. <laughs> With most wings, I have a habit of basically going up above the head and then down to the floor. Perhaps with yeah. the I won't quite go down to the floor. But you have a choice there. You can either not go down to the floor or not go up to the head. I felt like it didn't look right with not going up to the head because you've got to remember the uh, bone structure within the wing. Yeah, yeah. Because if, um, because if you have like a body here, you have your, yeah, you have your shoulder you have and... To, yeah. You need like a centre yeah. of gravity essentially, yeah. and but and on that's, four that's planes. Your, that's your wing shape there. Mm -hmm. If you are making one bit shorter, it's like suddenly it looks like you know, you're getting to like different type. Like that's more of a seagull's kind of shape. A long, uh. yeah, that's more of a seagull's wing, which is not what being really is. Burn it! <laughs> Fucking hate seagulls. That would be, if I was ever trying to, if it was like ever a D&D game where it was like, I need you to make a character that is as far from you or your type of character as possible, I would make a seagull arrow for a bard. <laughs> yeah, and 
if you do the opposite, if, I don't think I don't think that is a bird wing shape. I think I think the freaking Rito in Breath of the Wild have wings like that. Yeah, I was literally about to say. Which is it's like a depiction of a wing, but not like a practical wing shape. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Upper arm, your forearm, and then that's the hand is the weird thing you have to remember about birds. <laughs> yeah. The equivalent is that bit's the hand. <laughs> so having <laughs> So you could you could yeah. you could have a shorter upper arm, but having the shorter forearm looks weird and that is Odd, a, yeah. And that's essentially what this bit would be on V Re if I was making her wings uh, lower down. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. So I literally, so I literally just tried it and it didn't look right to me. It's the yeah. shorter version of that 20, 10 minute speech <laughs> I just did. <laughs> At most I can get it, I would be content with like just above, like fractionally above her head. Whitney's wood mill tank. And then the discovery that and, and then the discovery that got made like freaking you know twenty years later when someone on Twitter was like, why why do you y'all struggle with Whitney so much? There's just there's a guy literally in the building next door who will trade you a machop who was super effective against it, and the entire internet went, What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the entire internet went, there's a what? <laughs> there's someone at Nintendo that designed that, like, as an encounter. Literally. And so it has sat there for years being yeah, like, There's what? no fighting types before that point in the game. So mm. that, that's why people struggle with it so much. And then the person's <laughs> like, oh yeah, there's a dude just in the house next door who trades him a chop for a drowsy, and you can catch drowsies just in the patch of grass by the city. Outside, yeah. So it's basically a free machop and everyone was like, <laughs> this game is 20 years old. We've been dumb this whole time. We've been had. Okay. This fucking. I just, uh, uh, this Google Incognito knows too much. <laughs> this is not, again, this is not my computer. I'm in an incognito tab. I, I have no accounts on this computer. And yet I scrolled far enough down in the recommended and I got recommended 36 questions, which is a musical I like that's very not known. Uh, a bunch of Hades Town music. <laughs> uh, a Lord Huron. Fucking the Dead South. Oh Jesus. Mother Mother. A bunch of but just a bunch of stuff that I listen to. I have gonna listen to 36 questions on. 36 questions is a great musical and more people should listen to it. For now. And it's a podcast musical. It doesn't have staging or anything. The whole thing exists as a podcast. That's interesting. And that's his intended format. And it's very good. And it has some excellent music in it. Hmm. Just, I just right. spelled a word so wrong.
myself, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> I'm editing while I'm writing. It's the cardinal sin. Naughty, Sim one in real life, you know. I have. Have you? Yep. Like in the wild or like yep, in a. In the wild. Oh my god. I, it You'd think because I, I live in the country, I would have seen one. I technically I have I seen one twice, and it could theoretically have been the same one because we, loved um, it. Yeah. we went on a little boat, like a little uh, sort of. It wasn't a canal boat, but that kind of thing, uh, mm -hmm. for a holiday on the River Thames, and we were, oh, right. we basically went up. The River Thames, and then after like it was, it was I think a six-day trip. So it was literally we, we kept going for three days. On the third day, we turned around and just went back, and that was the holiday. Right, right. But we would more up at different. It's a cool places. holiday. It was a really cool holiday. We did it several times, so very fond memories of it. But, it, I, I, but basically, I saw uh, the blue flash of it flying at yeah. one point uh, in a river, and even I even like basically screamed to mum and dad because I was like. And, uh, it, yeah. Yeah, I was, and I was like 10 or something, and I literally, I was the nerdy kid where I was like, I was on holiday sitting on the front of the boat with a British book of birds and like a checklist oh, we of were, like... we were the same child. Yes, okay, cool. <laughs> of like identifying ducks and like, oh, it's a red kite and oh, it's this and that's, yep. that's what I would do. So of course when I saw the blue flash, I was like, it's a kingfisher, there's a kingfisher king here! Fisher. But, so that was the first sighting. We went when we eventually went up. We turned around and came back. On the way back, we decided to moor up at that spot mm -hmm. because I was the nerdy nerdy kid. In the evening after we'd had dinner, I decided to sit up on deck of the boat, literally yeah. wrapped in a blanket with a hot chocolate, and just sit and wait. And the I, dream. I kid you not, the kingfisher came and landed on the boat, and I got to see it sit on the oh rail. My God. That was like magic. It, it sat on the rail next to me and I literally stared at it for like a good minute and it just stayed still and stood there and I got to get a proper look at a wild kingfisher and then it flew off and I was like... <laughs> okay, happy forever, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's probably like, kingfishers are up there as like one of my yeah. absolute favourite kinds of birds and that's probably why because I actually got to see one in the wild and it came oh and landed God, on so the boat cool. I was on. I That's them. so cool. Yeah, I love them so much. Animals are great, yo. <laughs> like, I even knew from obviously reading in the books that I was like, it's rare for kingfishers to land on things because they just... Yeah, they don't like it. <laughs> they just fly, catch, eat, and keep flying. Yeah. Until they go to sleep on their nest, so for it to come and land on the boat mm -hmm. was wild. It's like um, my old raven friend. Like, that's in my memory forever. I think I was friends with you when that happened. Sounds familiar. That wasn't that long ago. Um, when I was at home a lot at college, during college. So yeah, I was friends. I'm super friends with you by this point. Um, <laughs> I was in. I was like, for the first time in my life, I was like home at the same time every day because normally I would be at school. Um, and uh, there was a like a raven, like. A absolutely fucking massive raven um and there was like my back garden uh that was like in an area where like i don't know why i'm explaining this what like gardens are like they all back onto each other mm -hmm. um and there was a cross section of the four gardens on the back left there used to be a big old tree there but we took it down because it died um and there was a massive ass raven that about midday every day which because <laughs> you know uh, that's about when I would get up, <laughs> would come and land at that midsection for like 10 minutes or so, every single day. And I would like, I got to a point where I would go and sit on the decking in my back garden, because we had like four random bits of decking in my back garden, in the old house. Um, and I would go and sit there, 
and wait <laughs> for it to show up. And sometimes I would put like a little tiny bit of like bread crust. <laughs> like a tiniest bit because I'm like, bread's not good for birds. Tiny, tiny bit. Because we didn't have any like seeds or nuts or anything. Um, and I would leave it up there. I think it got to a point where it, like, because cor corvids will remember people. Oh yeah, they're very good at facial recognition. So I would like shut Rocky in so, <laughs> you know, terrier. <laughs> Keep Rocky inside. <laughs> um... I would just sit out there, and he was, and they were my friend. Aww. I've always wanted to get uh, like a corvid to become friends with me, but I don't have a guy. So yeah, bird that's the hard thing. Bird interactions do not happen. <laughs> I've always been good with corvids. It's weird. I don't, I don't want to you know, think about. What, I mean, I have one on my flesh, so I would hope so, but like. That sounds weird out of context. I have a tattoo of a magpie for context. Yeah, you context. could have phrased that a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me touch your skin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's that time of night. Um, it's like when I... Um, like, there's no real corvids that come to our back garden because my nan feeds, like, the small birds. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of robins. <laughs> but every time I go and sit outside the cathedral, which is in a city near me. Um, there's so many crows, and they're not, like, afraid of me. So I'll, like, sit there and read my book normally and have some lunch, and, like, in the summer. And, like, just all these crows, like, the big flock of crows that clearly just vibes <laughs> around the cathedral, as crows are want to do. Yes. Um, will just come and migrate near me instead of near where other people are sitting because I'm just like I just start talking to them to be honest because I'm that fucking person I'm glad that they're not the kind of crows that mimic because <laughs> I think then I would actually shit myself <laughs> if you know, I'm just sitting there idly chatting to some corvids and some of them start mimicking me I would lose my mind Yeah, I love corvids. Crows, ravens, magpies. I love corvids. I mean, I like I birds, them. so... <laughs> yeah. I love all birds. We love the burbs here. This is a burb positive stream. Also, just uh, googling, because uh, uh, the little wing thumb bit, I was like, I know that there is a word for it. Hmm. And I couldn't remember what it was. Uh, the word is Alula, I think that is. A L U L A. Oh, nice. Alula. But this this is adorable because uh, it is. I mean, this bit isn't adorable because it's Alula or bastard wing. But obviously that's <laughs> that's what it's for. Plural Alula. Small projection on the anterior edge of a wing of modern birds and a few non-avian dinosaurs. Here's the cute bit. The mm. word in Latin. Is winglet. I've heard that before. <laughs> the little thumb bits and winglets. I have heard that before. I don't know where from, but yes. Nuki, her nickname. Alula. <laughs> Alula. Alula means winglet. <laughs> Alula. Alula is like a just. It sounds like a good name. It does sound like a good name. <laughs> Bank that one. <laughs> Well, that's the thing because I, I that's the thing is that I have the preset like head canon that actual bird names are bird sounds, which are like mm -hmm. clicks and whistles and things, and which is why we have and things like that. So a lula doesn't fit the bird. Name, yeah, it's not bird, bird sound. like an ooh sound is not a bird. A good yeah, you, you a could, you bird could, noise. No, not traditionally. No, like you you can you can get like a coo or an oo if you had like owl or pigeon. It's the sort of mm -hmm. l sound. The l is not very dirty. Did you get a nickname? So it'd be a nickname from so from someone who isn't a bird, because it's based. But on knows that. things about birds. Yeah, because it's a Latin word. So it'd be like a nickname. From what nerds? What nerds do we know? <laughs> Legacy. <laughs> huh? Legacy. Yeah, fair. <laughs> it seems like it's gonna be like a spellcaster or something, isn't it? Uh, my first thought was wizard, but I was like, Varys wouldn't. Nah. Varys wouldn't do that. Varys isn't the kind. <laughs> the lady water deep. 
No. Oh, that's, fuck, that's so funny. That's hilarious, but also has implications if the Lady of Waterdeep knows her well enough to have given her a nickname. <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave Das to decide that, and he can let me know. <laughs> <There's> no, <another>, ah! <laughs> That hurt my heart so much that I went thunk on my chest. I heard of that. I wasn't looking at the chat, but I, I heard it audibly. I knew exactly what had happened. Uh, hello, Senji. You should be proud of me, Stanji. I, I actually finished an art. It wasn't the art I said I was going to do. <laughs> so, you know, A plus for ADHD brain, but I finished an art. <laughs> shapes are so hard. <laughs> I always think that I know how wings work, but I basically know how one kind of wing works, and as soon as I try to draw a different shape, my brain is like, nah. when we finished last week, wasn't it? No, I feel like last week it was closer to 10 because the music was making us sleepy. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> oh, Update, I found a way to get swearing in this one, too. <laughs> How? It's a tree. <laughs> it was appropriate. who just got really into anthropology lectures. Not anthropology, what's the word I'm looking for? Anas, no. Could be anatomy. Yeah? yeah. What's like... I guess I don't know, I'm trying to think, I can't think of what Bi I'm trying to say. Biology? Yeah, just biology yeah. I guess. Astrology is stars, cool. Yes. That's what Kika's interested in. Yeah, that's a different verb. Different verbs. think of this. I know what I'm going for, but not what I'm trying to say. But yeah, just, just, have, a, just have a Kenku that can mimic whole biology and like, just... <laughs> yeah, you should have a Kenku that's freaking Yakko Warner, who now says Canada, Czechoslovakia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> just a little nerd Kenku? Yeah, just, just like his countries. Fuck, we, that's we, so funny. Think, you know the characters we made for Gauntlet? We didn't... We tried to come up with a few things that matched, and like mm. we tried to, and like we researched the names. So like that for the, for the names of the characters in there, we specifically actually looked at what it said in the player's handbook for how yes these races make their names to make sure they're mm -hmm. correct. Uh, and it said the Kinku uh, ten don't because they don't technically speak, they don't create new things. They don't create names for themselves, so their names tend to be given to them by people. 
Yeah. People tend to give these names based off the sounds that they make. Mm -hmm. So we made a Kenku Rogue, who I believe was the Mastermind subclass. Mm -hmm. And we decided to call them Legion because they could mimic so many different voices that sometimes yeah. it sounded like multiple people were speaking at once. Mm -hmm. So we called, so we gave the Kenku the name Legion because they were a legion of people, and we were like, "That's a suitably weird name." <laughs> that is <laughs> ominous rogue name. That's, yeah, that's a suitably ominous name that is within the law reasoning. <laughs> mm -hmm. Also, nerds like me will be like. It's time for Mass Effect references. <laughs> yeah. The problem is, is that obviously I love birds so much, but I don't actually have any Kenku characters because every time I want to make a bird, I'm like, but I want to be able to fly. <laughs> we currently have an 100% ratio of talking about Kenku on these streams. <laughs> we talked about it last week, didn't we? Did we? I don't th yeah, because I was like, I don't think I could ever play a Kenku. Oh, yeah. We were talking about keeping it up. Yeah. Does this Kanku have a soul? See, Das gets it. Um, yeah. Just more burbs. More good burbs. Thinking about D&D &D characters, and, and, like, t I think literally just today I've been thinking about it. Because I was thinking about, like, types of D&D &D characters I can play, or would play, for a long time. And like, literally I was talking today, I was like, I need more nerds. <laughs> I mean, I need like more weird nerdy characters because that's like one of the ca archetypes I could do. <laughs> yeah, it's just so that your, your primary nerd character got cut short. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't even a nerd, she was just kind of an asshole. <laughs> she didn't want to know things for the sake of knowing things or because she cared. She wanted to know things so she could be better than everyone else. <laughs> um, But um, yeah, I was like, I'm, I need to make a character who wants to just like, just has like a specialist subject. There's a there's a short story in the the new Dragon Age connect collection that came out a while back. There is a point to this story. Um, <laughs> who's <laughs> has a has a lot going on, but like his primary thing is that he's just a massive nerd about architecture. <laughs> Bless. <laughs> so you like go into this place, which in Dragon Age canon we've not seen. And he's just like nerding out about like <laughs> random like archways and shit, and it's so cool and like good character that I'm like, I need to make a character one day that's just like a nerd about something real dumb. <laughs> it's like me when I go into World of Warcraft and like I randomly stop by a wall and I just go like, mm, the textures, <laughs> game textures. <laughs> And everyone just sort of goes, are you okay? <laughs> it, it's it's alright. <laughs> to be fair, I also have Pokemon cards. That's also true. Much like my card that came today, which I was really happy with. Yeah, I saw on Twitter. Shiny ho -ho. That's the good shit. Shiny ho, ho card. Really happy I got my hands on it. That was the fourth attempt, I will have you know. Yeah, I failed. Pokemon card collecting is no fucking joke if I've learned and anything from you. And it's also, like, really gone into an upsurge this year. This year specifically, mm -hmm. there has been a massive upsurge in it, which means all oh, the prices are going up. <laughs> which is not no! great. It's not <laughs> so what yeah, that, was, that was my fourth attempt to get that card. I failed four times, got lost, lost it to other people. I was able to get it at the time, which I was happy about. There is a matching shiny Lugia, which is like four times the price. <laughs> Oof, Jesus. It's so much more expensive to get the Lugia, and I'm like, why? Which is, I like Lugia more than Ho-Oh. Ho Ho-Oh is also very highly ranked though, but I do like shiny Ho-Oh more than shiny Lugia, because shiny Lugia goes pink, and I'm like, it don't work for me. I prefer the blue color. Mm-hmm. But the shiny color is very pretty. I might try to farm shiny ho in my Pokemon sword. You can tell it's getting late because whenever it gets late, my voice gets a slight croakiness to it. Yeah. Also, something I know about you. <laughs> it's almost half past. 
Yeah, we're getting there. I'm still not 100% happy on this wing. This it is, looks good. This is the problem, is that... Is, is it, it is, the... So, the point where the two wings meet surely should be at the back? Yes. But at the moment, it's like where the elbow is? Well, no, you see, that's... I'm trying to... Go the way to the Basically... Uh, behind the back, it's sort of like the other wing is there, but the other because of the perspective, the other wing is essentially uh, doing this behind the back. But because obviously she's standing in the way, you can't see the joint. Oh right, yeah, I got what you say. Yeah, so it's like yeah. No mind. I'm just throwing shit out there to see if it sticks. So if anything, it's kind I of. I like weird. this shape on the wing though. The like. So, um. Like shorter feathers on it. It's cute. Yeah, it, it, it's literally my mind is conflicting in two ways because I'm like, well, I've said that because she's a kingfisher, she has sort of wings, and literally all my brain is saying, looking at this, is the wings are too small, the wings are too small, the wings are too small. No, it looks good. <laughs> I like the size, the size of the wings. The big challenge of this, I was going to say fic, the story <laughs> so far is avoiding the word felt in an emotional context. <laughs> wow. That has been the hardest part. Because I keep going to start sentences with, I felt that. It's like, well, unless it's a physical sensation, that, that's not how that works. <laughs> I experienced that. <laughs> yeah. I've given it, like, thought. It does have, a, I have personified it a little bit because it makes it more entertaining to read. Yes. Um, but I've I've tried to keep it very detached from anything we would recognise as human emotion, <laughs> or at least explicitly. You can infer quite a lot, but um, so trying to avoid things like to do with feeling, especially because that's what you would want to express most if it was a human character. Mm -hmm. You'd want to be like emphasizing like physical sensation to do with feeling and then not doing that feels wrong. It goes against every instinct that I have <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of great. I'll have to post like a little because like, obviously I'm, I might edit this and use this so I won't post the whole thing but I might take like a paragraph and shove it on Twitter for you guys later just to see vaguely what I'm doing. Because <laughs> obviously while Blue works in a very visual medium <laughs> Most of what I'm doing just sounds like crazy nonsense. <laughs> you can always do a reading. I could do that. I keep rereading this one line that I wrote and I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, I need to get rid of that word, but that means I need a better word before it. Why well, are you having a tantrum in my chat? <laughs> because it's half past, and if I'm not an asshole about this, she won't go to bed. <laughs> Fair. Thank you for joining. You, you could have at least calmly said it's. <laughs> Articulated that in the initial statement. <laughs> you could have at least said it's now half past instead of just going all caps and swearing and apparently saying 
heme, which doesn't get anything across. <laughs> you could have just said, it's half past. <laughs> And we would have been like, oh shit, is it? And then it would have gone from there. Different world. <laughs> oh, a hen, that's what you were saying. Because it was emphasised, it looks like you said Ahim. <laughs> because of the multiple E's. I get it now. of me, but we did finish mystery, which is a thumbs up. Because, yeah, because you is, did a lot today. Yeah, because it is late, I will save a posting of the picture of mystery tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, but I enjoy drawing mystery because uh, I'm obsessed with the Mystery Skulls animations and they released a new one. Yeah. Hence why I drew it. Time means nothing to me, so I'll probably post up a paragraph later. Just because you said you don't have to be up in the morning doesn't mean you're in No, 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 shh. I mean, I'm going to bed. I'm being a, a responsible person. <laughs> oh boy. Oh well, I am a terrible streamer because I didn't even notice that that sound. <laughs> yeah, that was literally the that beginning a, of the stream. That was the start, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I am a terrible streamer because I do not have stream notifications because I don't want notifications to disrupt our D&D streams. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're gonna go. Yep, we're gonna go now. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, everybody. We Hopefully everyone got something done. Yeah, I hope everybody did some something creative since this was our creative stream. Mm -hmm. I'm fairly proud of myself considering that I technically got something finished for the first time in Yay. probably about seven or eight months. <laughs> but it's not shaded, but it's coloured. Yep. It's lined and coloured, which is more than anything I have done for a very long time. Yeah, we're getting there, chat. We'll see you next time. Yeah, next Whenever week. Whenever that is. Potentially next week. Weekly thing. Yeah, I can do it. Weekly creative art stream. We'll see you next week, perhaps. See you next week, probably. But we'll likely see you tomorrow for Digging Day. And yeah, probably see you tomorrow for Digging Day. Good night. Bye. Bye.